Texas at Texas Tech. Whew. 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN Texas. A seven-point road favorite. Total of 60, of course, latest lines over at BetUS. Uh, Texas is 7-3 and three against the spread. Their last 10 against Texas Tech. Quinn Ewers is traveling and will suit up in this game, according to Steve Sarkeesian. Interesting. Heard that he was out for like six to eight weeks. He's been out for like two. What is going on here? Um, I look at this number, and uh, what did we say the total was? 60 on this. My total on it is 55.82. Um, Texas Tech, you know, I've got a score of uh, 34 and a half to 21 and a quarter. So 13.27, around about 13 points on this. Uh, the line, you know, over at Bet US is actually seven. I think I'm going to ride with Texas. I think, especially if Quinn Ewers does show up at this game, I don't care if he gets in the game or not. Uh, if he is out there on the sideline, uh, there's something about that where a guy comes back early to be with his teammates, etc. Like, it kind of rejuvenates the guys. It rejuvenates the team. Um, and Texas, I mean, like I said, they're 7-3 and three against the spread in their last 10 against Texas Tech. Even when they were bad, they found ways to cover against Texas Tech. Um, in Texas Tech, you, you want to see interesting things here. Even with Zach Kitley, they're number 104 in PPA per pass, and yet they're throwing the ball 63% of the time. What? Like, why are we doing this? Uh, at the same token, number 16 in PPA per rush, and yet they're only running the ball 37% of the time. That's number 118 in the country. Unless they flip that thing around, I do not see it ending. E even if they do turn it around, uh, I mean, Texas's weakness is obviously against the pass. I mean, they're number 60 PPA per pass on this. Uh, as far as Texas's offense... Like, no, they're not great against the run. Or they're not great running the ball. How's that? Even with B. John Robinson, uh, the numbers have not exactly been great. They're number 86 in success right here. Uh, but PPA per rush for Texas Tech, I mean, number 18. Uh, number 15 in rushing explosiveness, et cetera. Like, I think these numbers are obviously going to change because, again, you look at strength of schedule, number 13 for Texas, number 50 for Texas Tech. I think Texas has enough to be able to uh, win this game by more than a touchdown. I know it's a tricky spot after the UTSA game, et cetera, but I do think Texas is going to be focused here. Texas Tech coming back home after getting just drubbed. I say drubbed. It wasn't awful, but you're going to be beat up when you play NC State, bottom line. So I do think uh, that Texas is going to be able to cover that seven uh, on the road in Lubbock. That's that's going to be an interesting, interesting spot. So let's, let's, uh, let's see what happens there. But I'll ride with the Longhorns on that. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.